Hey filmmakers, today I'm going to show you the best and quickest ways to edit audio inside of Final Cut Pro 10. Let's jump right into Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to use a project from the last video that I posted on this channel as an example of how you can edit audio. So we've got the project open now and the first thing I always want to do is adjust the audio levels of the dialogue. So normally the best place for dialogue to sit is somewhere between negative 12 dB and negative 6 dB. If you go anywhere above that and you start hitting into zero dB, you're gonna clip and it's gonna start to distort and not sound very good or high quality. Now the dialogue for this, I actually recorded at a pretty good volume. So when I dropped it into Final Cut Pro 10, there wasn't really any adjustments I needed to do for it because I can see in the meters on the side that I'm bouncing right in between negative 12 and negative six, maybe a tiny bit over that. So I'll bring it down just one or two decibels. And the easiest way to make tiny adjustments to your volume is to hold command down and then grab that little bar and pull it down and it'll do one decibel at a time so you can get those really easy micro adjustments the next thing i do once i get the dialogue in the right range is i always throw a compressor on there so if you go over to the effects browser you can just quickly type in compressor and grab it and drop it right on and then i'll go over to the audio tab in the inspector and you could see the parameters of the compressor there and you can customize it if you need to at all. One other thing that you may need to add to your dialogue is some background noise removal. So you could go into the inspector and click on the little speaker icon and then click on noise removal and it defaults to 50%, but that is just way too much for the most part. And it makes it sound like you're in a tin can. So if I need to get rid of a little bit of like background noise from maybe people talking or some music or any sort of rumble, I'll usually put that around 10 or 15% and it gives it just enough to kind of help cut out a little of the background noise. The next thing that I do for every single cut in my timeline is I make a small crossfade between each clip from the beginning to the end. And I just do just a few frames. Doing that little crossfade helps it go much smoother from clip to clip, especially when you're doing like interviews or talking head stuff. There's gonna be a lot of cuts in the dialogue. And if you just do a straight cut and don't add any crossfades, a lot of times it adds this little blip or this little pop noise. And sometimes you don't know where that came from. You're listening, you're like, what was that little pop? Why is it doing that? it's because it's just clipping from audio to audio. And so it's best to add these teeny tiny little crossfades between each of the clips. And I do it on every single cut in every video that I ever make because it makes the audio sound so much better. Now, you don't want your background music to drown out your dialogue. If it's difficult for people to understand what someone is saying because of the background noise, it's gonna be pretty frustrating. So I never put in my background music at zero decibels because it'll be just way too loud. So a nice rule of thumb for me is usually around negative 30 decibels, but it really just depends on the music that you're putting in there. Now, a lot of times in your video, you don't always want the background music to be that low. So you duck the audio, it's called audio ducking when someone is talking. And then when you cut away to B-roll or another segment, you want to bring it up to a louder volume. So to quickly do that in Final Cut Pro 10, you can just click the R key on the keyboard and that'll switch you into the range selector mode. Now, if you don't wanna use the shortcut keys in Final Cut Pro 10, you can click on this little icon and drop down and then click on range selector. Once you have the range selector on, you're gonna go down to your music, click and then drag, and you can select as much of the music that you want to adjust. So for this section, I want the music to ramp up much louder because I'm just working on a part and there's no talking in it. So I'm gonna hold command and then drag the music up to where I would like it to be, which is around negative 12 decibels. So that way the music matches the volume of my voice in the previous clip. And it's not like just talking then all of a sudden blasting music or really quiet music. I try to put it at about the same volume so that it's nice and even throughout the 
entire video. And like you can see here, it's automatically created all the keyframes for me and crossfaded the music in and then back out. So it's really smooth. Instead of creating a bunch of teeny tiny uh, little keyframes manually, it happens very quickly. Next, we're gonna talk about soloing an audio clip. So you may be working on a piece of dialogue or music and you really wanna make some micro adjustments to it, but you only wanna hear it and not mix it in with everything else. So what you'll do is click on the video or audio clip that you wanna adjust in the timeline, and then go over to the right side and click on the little headphones. And what that will do is silence everything else. So the only thing that you can hear is that audio clip. Now, once you're done making those adjustments, you just click on the headphones again and everything goes back to normal. You can hear all the clips, nothing's grayed out anymore. All right, so let's say that you have the audio perfectly adjusted in one of your video clips and you don't wanna go through and manually do that on every single other clip in your timeline. Well, it's easy to copy and paste. So the quickest way to copy over to the other video clips is to, of course, select the clip and then hold Command C and then go over to the clip that you wanna paste it to and press Command Shift V and that'll bring up the paste attributes page. And the only thing that I wanna paste over is the audio. So I'm gonna deselect video attributes, and then I wanna copy over all of the audio adjustments I've done. So a compressor, the volume adjustments, which also includes those little crossfades on the beginning and end, and then the background noise removal. So I'll just do that and click paste. And now all those audio adjustments are on that clip. And then once you've done all of the audio editing for your dialogue and the music, and you have everything balanced and adjusted the way that you want to, it's a good idea to not only listen to it on a pair of good headphones, but also on a pair of speakers and see how everything balances out. So hopefully these tips on editing audio in Final Cut Pro 10 help you guys on your future projects to make them sound better and get your editing done quicker. So if you wanna see more stuff like this, hit subscribe right now. I have tons more videos coming out on shooting, editing, lighting, everything like that. All right, I'll see you in the next video.